The election could quite easily be linked to this next story. Today is National Stress Awareness Day and a new study suggests a staggering 74% of us have reached overwhelming levels of stress in the last year, with London thought to be one of the worst affected cities due to its hectic nature. I've been speaking to Carol Spires, the head of the International Stress Management Association, which works to tackle the problem. I think the thing, what's very important, James, is, is that not we have Stress Awareness Week, which is one week, but actually we need to think about 52 weeks in the whole year. The whole aim of Stress Awareness Week is to raise the profile of stress and mental health, and there's still a stigma that goes with it, and we're doing our very, very best to combat that. Mm -hmm. uh, the definition of stress is perhaps the best way of looking at things, because stress is natural, we all mm -hmm. go through it, but it's in determining when it gets too much or when it gets too dangerous for people, isn't it? Yes, I think that's very important because let's just look at the definition of what stress is. Stress is excessive pressure. Pressure is good for you, pressure is what you can manage, pressure is what you can cope with. Mm -hmm. It's when it tips into the stress zone where you're, it's not healthy for you and you start experiencing signs and symptoms of ill health, which is where you don't want to be. So therefore it's a matter of knowing where your body is, knowing how you're managing it and making sure that you take all necessarily interventions to make sure you don't go into the stress zone. Mm. What are those indicators then that people may not even realise they have or may not realise they are? are overstressed that they can look out for? Well, they're going to be aware of waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning yep. and not getting back to sleep. They're going to be aware of being irritable, inability to concentrate. They're going to be aware of just being angry all the time and just not being able to switch off and always feeling like they're on a Ferris wheel and they can't get off. Mm. So those are some of the signs and it leads to exhaustion. And I'm not talking about an occasional night when you're tired and you wake up in the morning tired. It's when you're not recharging your batteries. Mm. So what happens is you wake up in the morning every bit as tired as when you went to sleep. And those are signs that it's not a good place to be. Well, talking about acceptable levels of stress, you have a card with you today. Um, tell us a bit about that uh, and what, you'll be handing those out I assume to people and That's how, right. how does it go about? This is a stress test card, you place your, there's this stress pad, you place your th the thumb on the square and for 10 seconds and if you're stressed at that particular moment it will stay black. The chances are, because I'm on TV, it's going to be black. However, if when I go home this evening it's still black and I'm chilling out in a chair and listening to some music, then I know my body hasn't switched off. It's all about switching off. Of course it's black. If I did the same for you, it would be also black. Well, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. But that is actually, it's an indicator. And it's very important with the indicator for every person to manage their own stress levels. It's stress is very different for everybody. It affects everybody in different ways. For one person, a job is stress one for somebody else it's pressure mm. so therefore if you're stressed was yours black at the moment uh, yeah that's very of much course. still black yes. uh, which is strange it must be broken I'm usually I think as calm not. As, no no calm I think not. but when these. you go back to your desk and you're sitting out and you're chilling out at that point and having a drink then it should actually go down it's an indicator it's not an absolute it's an indicator of where your body is at that moment so if when you go home tonight you haven't switched off the card will actually tell you that that is the case and you can't kid it <laughs> Carol speaking with me earlier. Today is, of course, National Stress Awareness Day. Right.